Hello friends, um, happy weekend. Yes, I have red hair. I've been a little under the weather. I actually have been sick all last week and had a really tough week ahead of me. Got through it. My body kind of shut down towards the end of the week. So I had an old box of light auburn hair dye and I decided to toss it in there yesterday to help make myself feel a little better and a little refreshed and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I look <laughs> more like my mom now. My mom has very red hair, but I'm actually super, super happy with it. It's like a nice little change, something that I needed. But we are going to jump into a vlog. I have some Oprah's favorite things to share with you. I have Christmas decorating to share with you. Some segments of me doing the decorating, the mantle for one. But I thought I'd just walk you around the house and show you Christmas for 2022 and prepare us all for Vlogmas. In my mudroom entry off my garage, I just have this old wreath from Magnolia. And then on this mirror, I did some afloral pine. If they're still in stock, I'll link them. They're my favorites. And then some bells. Some of the stuff I had last year and I just kind of am making it work. So I didn't really do a whole lot in this space. And then in our powder room on the first floor, I just did another garland, some bells, these beautiful gold trees, kept the vase there that's always there. And one of my favorite flameless candles from Pottery Barn, those are linked. But I just kept this whole space super simple. And I really love that against that dark wall. This wasn't this color last Christmas. So I really love how everything pops. In the kitchen, some things are still a work in progress. So I just have these little measuring cups. These are from Anthropology a few years ago. I use them when I do my baking. And then these metal trees that you'll see throughout the house are from Target last year. Up here, I did a really beautiful drapey garland and it has some gold magnolia and feathers, a little bird tucked in there. And then these little like spiky sphere um, ornaments. They're actually on a string and on a timer. They're from West Elm and they'll light up and they have like the warmest glow. And I have them draped throughout the whole top and then some really large pine cones. I just really love how simple that is. But then I do want to mirror that hanging up here. I just have to go buy another garland because I used all my garlands this year. And then this is from McGee & Co. The Studio McGee has their like top brand store, McGee & Co. It's where many of my light fixtures are, a couple pieces of furniture, but that's like their actual store store. So this is from that and it's so beautiful. Over here, I didn't do anything but pick up this brass nutcracker and that normally has like a piece of pottery on it, that little pedestal, and I just switched that out. But that's where the kitchen is for right now, except for my centerpiece. So this is very similar. I didn't really overdo it because uh, I really loved how it turned out. So this will have cookies in it and treats throughout the winter season. And then this, I just did a strand of bells from last year, a pine pick, and then these beautiful gold leafed um, candlesticks with my favorite taper candles. Like I said, check down the description box, I've linked a lot. And then these cider picks. What's great about these is I have um, uh, light up battery operated twigs that are going to go in here. So eventually this will be much fuller with some lit twigs and I think it'll really add like that little Christmas touch to it. And then what I did on the sides of the pot is I just hung ribbons in two of my colors this year, which is like a burgundy and a gold. You'll see lots of burgundy and lots of gold throughout the decor and you'll see that ribbon echoed through a lot of decor. Going into my pantry, Everyone asks about these floating shelves. I believe they're from Target. Steven installed them. I love them and I use them strictly for just decor purposes. But kept my same art up there. Have a nutcracker 
there that is years and years old. Another one of those eight floral garlands that just hangs so beautifully. When you have vertical shelves, I love to have something that cuts that line. So usually I have some Spanish moss in a pot, but whenever you have shelving like this, make sure you break that line with something hanging and greenery is the perfect thing. So then I always have those ceramic berry um, dishes. I added a string of bells. These trees I got with my best friend Laura when we were in the Berkshires last year. So I picked those up and then I actually didn't know what I wanted to do with this star and I just tapped in a little finishing nail and hung it and I kind of love it there. And it has some like nice depth to it, but I just think it really finished off the whole look of the shelves. In the pantry, um, I just did, I think these, I think this is two of those A floral garlands. Once again, some taper candles, some gold trees that I once again picked up in the Berkshires, and then some deer that I had that I just thought really fit this mood. And then just another wreath. So that's the pantry area. And then look how big Mabel is getting. She's becoming such a big girl. She is so good. Bubba's is over there. It's just me and the dogs since Thursday, I believe. By the time you're watching this, Stephen will be back, but he's currently in Alaska. But it's just me and the dogs hanging out. But look how big she is. Over at the coffee bar, I just switched out all my mugs for gold mugs that are normally there. I added some magnolias into that. And then lots of gold accents. I got this from West Elm this year. It's like this beautiful gold pine cone. This bell is old, but I cut the twine off and then echoed my ribbons. Seeing down here, this is like an ancient candle from Pottery Barn that looks like a bell. And I just added my ribbons. And then inside here, I just added another set of bells, some wood trees that match the tones in that cabinet, and then this gold moose I think it is but the coffee station is really simple and then you guys know this picture is like a frame from Goodwill 99 cents and I just print off a different picture for each season and I keep them all stored in the frame and just rotate them out so that's the same picture from last year I like undid the frame pulled out pulled it to the front called it a day easy simple decor and I love how that always changes out. That's kind of where the kitchen is currently. Like I said, I'll get that garland done. And then in the breakfast nook, I have these Studio McGee Noel pillows. This is from Magnolia. This letter is to Santa, super old and ancient. And then this string of bells is from McGee & Co. This is an amazing new candle. Oh my goodness, speaking of candles, my friend Christina Brawley just launched a candle line and I love them. So here I am opening them for the first time. Super excited. I got my delivery from Amber, Christina Brawley's new candle launch and line. I could not be more proud or excited for her. All of the packaging is eco-friendly, like all the things, just so incredibly, incredibly thoughtful um, and just so happy, happy for her. So these are the candles that I ordered and I ordered four, her logo with the flame for the E. These sold out in like 90 seconds but I ordered two of her leaves candles and then her two Halloween scents. So let's go ahead and get these all unwrapped for you so you can see them. Her and I were texting the morning of her launch, but she sent me a little note and how excited I am for the winter collection faves. She's gonna send them to me. But her and I were texting and I was just congratulating her and so happy for her. But I could tell you they smell amazing. So they have wood wicks, everything is sustainable in them. Like stellar, stellar packaging. So this is the Black Flame Candle, Cinnamon Sugar Amber Exotic. I will not pronounce that word correctly. Mmm. 
That smells incredible. I also love the biodegradable glitter. She like has been so, so thoughtful. There's nothing harmful in these candles. Hex is dragon's blood, incense, and centaur. Oh, that's beautiful. And then the leaves candle, I believe has cinnamon in it. Hold on. Pine, spice fruit, earthy musk, lemon, and cedar leaf. Oh, that is, the leaves is my favorite. So packaging is beautiful. Like the oil slick jars are so cool. They're a nice size, big candle. I'm so happy for her. I think I'm gonna do the black flame candle first and they'll crackle with the wood wick. Just congratulations, Christina. I'm so excited for you. We are back. Here is an olive tree bought from the Oprah Favorites Things. <laughs> it is such a good gift. I'm trying to find the right place. It is dropping leaves currently, but it also has a ton of new growth on it. So anyone who's grown an olive tree, put your tips down below because I need them. I wanna make sure that this thing lives. Over here, I did it a little differently, but the four main things have remained the same. So that reindeer is one I got from Michael's and I just spray painted it black as soon as I got it. It was a normally like a beige. And then these are my Pottery Barn lanterns. And then I just added my ribbons that match everything. And then to fill them out more, I've switched to two candles in each one and it makes a huge difference. And then this whole garland is lit. Let me, it's getting darker. I wanted to film this when it got darker. So this whole garland is all lit and then it has some gold picks in it, magnolia leaves, gold feathers. And then these ornaments are from last year and I thought they really tied in well. Then ignore the dog toys, but I'll give you a little scope of the tree and then over to the mantle. Let me take you to the mantle. It hasn't turned on yet, but it is, I mean, it looks stunning in video, but I'm telling you in person, it is so beautiful look how you get like the view of the tree i love that view because you get the view of the tree in the mirror but it's just oh like look at that all right let me take you up close to this like look at all the detail and all the different textures from like the sedums and the pompous some gold i have like glittered twigs in there the paper fans are nestled in the magnolia leaves, some feathers. Then you have all of this over here, the pompous grass, more fans. And then it goes all the way up this side of the mirror and ends with like this beautiful fan and this bird from anthropology. I've linked them. It's just stunning. And I'm going to cut away to show you the process of putting all of this together. So it has begun. Here is my inspiration picture. So I am going across, I want it to really hang down and then work its way up around the one side of the mirror. I have my base down. That is just one garland. I believe in buying high quality garland. This is directional garland from, I think Ballard Design. It is pricey, but so good. I also recommend buying not pre-lit garlands and spend all your money on getting really, really good greenery. So that's my recommendation. And then over here, I do everything with finishing nails and attach it in that way. And then I have different gauge wires, just depending on how heavy the item is I'm linking. My wire snips, these are so good. And then my floral cutters. I have all my picks laid out and organized and just kind of seeing what I wanna use and the direction I want to go. But I've secured this first piece down. Now, before I, I haven't decided if I wanna Let's go ahead and mess with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tap myself a trail of finishing nails to try to get the shape that I want here. Also, never be afraid to cut your garland. You can always wire it back together. I think people panic about cutting it. Don't, you can wire it back together, it's no big deal. All right, I'm gonna see what I can do right here. I got it 
constructed my base. I'm pretty happy with it. I might go in with my shears and just thin this out a bit and cut it down um, just because I don't need it to be that thick. <clears throat> And I kind of want to just thin it out a hair. So that is probably what I'm going to do next. You can see just giving that a little bit of a haircut made a huge difference. The shape is fine. It's not perfect and it never is at this stage, but this is just my base structure. So that's going to get softened with some like pieces that are going to go up and work its way around. Right now I want to get all my layering underneath so it starts hanging. And I think I'm going to use these afloral pines because they have such a nice drape to them and I think I can get what I want happening along the bottom. And then some eucalyptus also draped and hanging from the bottom. The base is almost all in. My lighting is at a weird time of day, but you can just see that I got like all the drape that I wanted happening. And then look how beautiful this side structure is starting to look. And then already look how the eucalyptus that is up at the top is already changing the way that shape felt. And because I trimmed that out and thinned it, it's like really taking the exact shape I wanted and looking stunning. So my base is done. I'm going to go ahead and add in my lights and yeah, we're gonna get this going. All right, so I added my pompous grass. This one needs to be a little bit more fluffed and buffed out. There we go. Um, so it's like a rich burgundy and then I have like this darker tobacco-y and this gold and then this green at the ends. And I just did the same shape on this side and then put one of the burgundy ones going up. Trying to decide where I'm going to go now. I do think I want to get my gold accents in. So I had to step back and do some editing. But I soon realized that the gold magnolia leaves were a little too heavy for me. So I pulled most of them out and just left a few in there for detail and then added some like wispy gold feathers. But what I was realizing is the color palette, although rich and vibrant, is heavy and it needed some lightness. So I added the magnolias kind of draping up into the arch and then I added this bird from Anthropology, and I kind of maneuvered its tail down into the garland and voila it's unbelievable and then i have three of the fans nestled in this is simply stunning it's my favorite then over here i just have my lantern this was a tree topper that steven screwed into a piece of wood so i could use it as like a little piece of decor and then these are the most beautiful beautiful votive candles. They are from Breathe at Home, one of my favorite local stores, and I picked those up. This is my favorite setup of the TV stand, and you'll see wreaths are also echoed through my theme this year. I did a lot of things with wreaths, which you will see shortly, but this is by far my favorite, favorite setup. The whole below part, I really didn't change. The only thing I added was some bells into this little container. And then I also have a brass letters to Santa. That's the only thing I put in that section. Over here, I got handbag adjustable racks and these bells from Amazon. Everything is linked below. Some old pine picks that I had and I just did this arrangement and I love the bells at the two different heights. Such a cool way to display them. And then over here, I grabbed this at Target, but it's all sold out. I wish it was still there. But my favorite thing, besides our frame TV that I can change the art out seasonally, is I did a color, oh, it's a little dark. Let me see if I can adjust this. I did a collection of wreaths and I just love how it looks and I think I'll keep them all winter. So I did three which are two cedar and a boxwood. And then up here, two cedar, this one I picked up at Target and another boxwood. I just love how it looked. Let me go ahead and downgrade the light. Then over here on this little antique bell, I added my ribbon, another one of those votive candles. And then coffee table is super simple this year. Another one of those West Elm acorns, just a little bit smaller. I love this for on top of a stack of books. It's just like a holly and berry piece. So pretty. Studio McGee at Target. 
and then some velvet ornaments that I didn't put on my tree, so I just put them in a bowl. Kept it simple. I will put some live greenery on the table once my greenhouse starts carrying it, and I'll just replace it about every two weeks. On the couch is a Mabel. 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 I swear she knows her name. Hi, the love buggies. Hi. Hi. Ooh, so pretty. Um, all these pillows are from previous years except the gold ones. They have like a beautiful like metallic finish to them, but they're still super soft. But this piece on earth is old, and then this green velvet, and the sweater knit, and this tree one is from H&M Home one year. But that's kind of the look of the living room. Super happy with it. Ignore the dog toys and the bubbas, but this is the tree. It's so beautiful. I have a couple more birds coming to add to it because Mabel ate one. Shh. But if you get up close, there are so many ornaments tucked in and feathers and magnolias and velvet ornaments and beautiful shiny ornaments that are colored and like beautiful tones. These are stunning. They're hand blown ornaments with a white bulb inside a clear but it's just a beautiful tree and then I ended up doing pieced ribbon because I wanted to, you to see like finishing so you'll see like this one tucks down and then I have it like dovetailed at the end and that's kind of how I did all the ribbon this year but it's just beautiful also the mirrors from anthropology added so much to this and then you'll see birds from the garlands, the magnolias, the gold picks, all of these things like the starburst, echo the garland, that's in the kitchen so it all connects and becomes really cohesive. These are from McGee & Co. They are the most beautiful brass bows. But that's the tree and this is the side that you would see walking into the house. So you would see it with the beautiful mantle. Also, the paper fans are tucked into this tree as well. You just have to look for them because they... Where's the other one? There should be three in the tree. One, two, I don't know where the third one is. I'm wondering if little Mabel destroyed it and Steven hasn't had the heart to tell me. <laughs> because one is missing and I believe it went right there. But I guarantee you Mabel destroyed it and Steven didn't want me to know. Unless I'm missing it. But I would assume like that's what happened. Alright, I'm going to have to order another pack of paper fans because one is missing. <laughs> um, then I have this piece here. This is a cabinet that is always here. Once again, just some bells from McGee & Co. My favorite, A Christmas Carol book. And then some large bells in those vessels. Nothing really changed out here. I just added the two gold deer and a couple extra candlesticks. But kept that simple. These wreaths, once again, this idea of a lot of wreaths in the house this year are just on beautiful strands. I don't know where I got these. If I remember, I'll link them. Then the entryway garland. I hung wreaths from the B board, um, which I love how it turned out and it looks. And then I also hung a wreath with a command hook on the um, anthropology mirror. Have had these wreaths for years. None of them are new. And then this garland echoes all the other garlands, these flameless tapers will come on soon, has the feathers, the magnolias, the same ornaments that were in <clears throat> the um, table in the living room, and then some large pine cones. So once again, super cohesive. So when you walk in the house, this kind of introduces you to what the rest of the themes will be. Such a beautiful view. Dining room, I didn't really do anything. It's not done yet. I'm toying with doing something with our light. 
Lots of questions about this light all the time when people see it because people love the Starburst. This is also from McGee & Co. Their light fixtures are outrageous and heavy, but so beautiful and even. Oh, you can't really see it, but they have a Starburst on like the ceiling piece. I always have these pots here. I added a few more metal trees. All my advent calendars are over there. And then over here is just a bell. One of my candles from Christina Brawley, Am Emberline, it's so cute. And then I just put these little tinsel trees that are gold with my candlesticks. I bought these when we were in the Berkshires. They're hand spun. They were outrageously expensive <laughs> for what they are. So they will always be on display until the day I die because I paid way too much for them. Um, but that's kind of the first floor. I didn't do anything in Steven's office. That's his space. But yeah, that's where we're at. Let's go upstairs. So coming up the staircase, I have had this piece of art. I painted this. Oh, it would have been maybe last Vlogmas, friends. And I, with brown, beautiful velvet ribbons, I hung two pre-lit wreaths. And I love how simple they are. And you'll notice when we get upstairs, the colors are a lot more neutral because I wanted to recycle some things from last year. But, love it. I've not done anything in the guest room except throw some garland on that stand. I'll do stuff when we get ready for guests. The hallway and the table just has a collection of trees. These are beautiful. They're from McGee and Co. Same with these ornaments. And then two of my flameless candles, the eight floral garlands, a cluster of bells, super simple. Then I have an assortment of three trees here. And I just love like the wreaths, these trees. They are from McGee and Co. They're linked. They come in three sizes. This is all three of them clustered together on the landing with a string of my favorite fairy lights. This is our tree. It is from King of Christmas. It's a nine foot tree. It's very airy. And then I did my bows a little differently. I did like loops and then just wired them together. And I love how it looks, but recycled all my ornaments from last year. So there are these glass ones that I filled with like dried flowers, velvet, it's just beautiful at night. I love having a tree in your room. Nothing beats having like a little bit of Christmas. I even added like a little wreath into our bathroom that will light up eventually. This I did the same way too as I did last year. It is a garland with some eucalyptus in it. And then I just did a village once again at night when it's all lit. Super, super cute. Super happy with it. So that's all I did in the bedroom. I have two of my favorite taper candles over there. I did switch out some of my pillows to just kind of go with everything. Over here, I just have some little decor pieces that I've had for years and just added them there. That is from Studio McGee. And then that chair is usually in that corner because there's actually a reading lamp behind this tree that's mounted into the wall. So I just moved that chair over here with this little table and beautiful like pine branches but when the lights are out it just is perfection i bought several several things off of oprah's um favorite things list this year i will go ahead and show you some of the things that i bought and i'm so excited about so first of all i bought the Clever Tees. This is the sleep time, but I also, it came with the Super Chai, which is so good. I haven't tried this one yet. It also came with a portable whisk and it's out of this world. I am obsessed with it. I'm going to keep stocked up on it. I'm enjoying it so much. I'm gonna have some of this tonight. It's oat milk based, but all you have to do is add hot water. Incredible. So excited about this. Cannot wait, cannot wait to dive in. I also picked up this 800 piece puzzle for Christmas. I cannot wait to do this with my family. So I have that. And then I 
am waiting until New Year's to start this, but it's the Oprah's The Life You Want Daily Inspiration Cards. So I'll go ahead and take them out. Look at her. They're beautifully, beautifully packaged. So I will open all of these and then take one out each day. I'm so excited to finally be filming because I want to get these up into the bathrooms. But this is the Soak It Life Handmade in the USA Sustainable Natural Ingredients Paraben and Sulfate Free. But it is a collection. I wish you could smell these. And they're like good, big bars of soap. But what's so great about them, like this one's lab, lavender, bergamot, and vanilla. They each have a stamped word on it. So this one's peace, but they all have different words. This one is sun, Helen violet, and it's imagine, um, full of joy, kindness, thankful and hope so 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 beautiful and i got this amazing jewelry case because i usually travel with some jewelry and watches and it's like hard sided but like beautiful way to organize your necklace has a little mirror in it slot for rings and a polishing scarf <laughs> cloth i love it so nice quality and I love the emerald green. It's such a rich green. It's like actually reading black, but you can catch a little bit of it. It's such a beautiful deep green. I got a Maya J bracelet. This was actually from last year's favorites list. It, said, it says inspired. I just took it off. I'll have to put it back on. Then, you know I love a balsam fur candle and this year, um, was the first year she's ever featured one on her favorites list. It's called Old St. Wick. Oh my gosh, the smell is so stinking good. So I got that. Then, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm having sleep issues. So I got the... Um, the uh, a, a sutra, a sutra living the dream silk eye mask. I'm so excited to be able to start using this too. It has like a nice little zipper and you can fill it with extra organic flax seeds, um, extra organic lavender. It also has a ice pouch that you could put in the freezer and slide in. Super, super excited about all of that. Then I love socks. I'm excited to be able to put these away now. So I got the Daily Mantra socks. It's seven pairs of non-slip socks. I've already tried them on. They're so comfortable. These are Be Grateful. Those are for Sunday, but they have grips and they have little messages. So be grateful, be focused, be mindful, be fearless, be strong, be happy, be you. So I got those. I also picked up the Life You Want journal, which once again, I'm going to wait until Christmas, I mean, New Year's to start it, but I'm really excited about starting that. This is from a previous um, favorite. I had one and I bought another one and it is a little bit of a different color, but my other one was like, um, like a reddish orange, and this is more of like a hunter orange, but it's from the House of Fluff. It's a nice Sherpa warm hat for winter. I also bought this set of hot chocolates, salted caramel, deep dark, and toasted marshmallow. Came in, the, like the packaging of all of her things are so amazing. And then I picked up the Deer Foam Warmies. They're so comfortable. And then these weren't on her list, but while I was getting that, these came up. And I bought the Path Made Clear and the Wisdom of Sundays, two of her books. So I think that is what I got from the list. I think there's a couple more things, like a foot massage thing and a couple like techie things that are still on their way, but this is a little bit of my Oprah's favorite things list this year. A subscriber, Sarah. Sarah, I need your Instagram so we can chat. I think <laughs> she sent me, hold on, let's open it. 
I just want to laugh so hard. She sent me the Holly Dolly advent calendar again, and she said in it, Christopher, you opening this last year brought me so much joy. Let's give her another shot. Blessings to you. Um, and it's from Sarah. I cannot even deal with this. So I guess we're giving Dolly another shot. So that's the gist of my holiday decor this year. I'm super, super, super happy with it. I could not be more thrilled with just how everything turned out. And I really loved working with a little bit more color this year after not working with any color last year at all. So that has been really, really nice. All right, I am going to sign off this vlog. I am getting ready for Vlogmas. I cannot wait to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.